morning, boys and girls, and good morning, Parker. How are you this morning? It is not a good morning. Oh, no. What's going on? What? I've not been having a good day. Oh, Parker. Well, you look like you are somewhat happy, wouldn't you say, boys and girls? Nope. Angry. Okay, well, what's going on? I've had a bad day. I'm not happy about my day, and I wish I could start it over. Well, tell me about your morning. It's morning time. What could have went wrong thus far? Well, I, I rolled out of bed this morning. That's good. And Mom had brought me a glass of milk the night before. That was sitting by my bed, and I, I knocked the milk off, and it landed on my tablet. Uh, oh, no. Ruined my tablet. Not good. That's not good. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. So I was upset about that, and, and it just threw my whole morning off. I was late eating my breakfast, getting my backpack ready. And then I go go outside, and I left a stack of comic books on the deck last night. Okay. And the neighbor's cat went to bath to the bathroom on my comic books. Oh no, no, it did not. Oh, Parker. It did. Oh no. So what did you do? Blinky, the cat next door, Blinky. went to the bathroom on my comic books. Blinky. Oh, no. So I, I was not happy. Did you have to throw them out? Yeah, we had to throw them all out. Oh, and no. And then, because of all the mess, I, I, we were late for school and I missed the bus. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's a terrible morning. I'm so sorry. So you're tired. You're frustrated. You're a little bit angry, aren't you? I'm very angry. Oh, man. It doesn't sound like you are having a good day. It's been a bad day. You know what, Parker? I'm reminded today how God never changes. Despite, you know, what we go through, your such your story kind of reminds me about God and you know what? Even though we have bad days, God never changes. Isn't that cool? So you had a bad day. Oh, dear. Did you ever hear that song before? Oh yeah, I heard that song before, but I don't know how the rest of it goes. Neither do I. Okay. Well, yeah, it was a good intro. <laughs> Anyway, so today, you know what, despite how you're feeling, Parker, can I pray for you? I guess so. Yeah, you know what, we need to pray for each other because we all have bad days. And so we need to, we need to lift each other up sometimes when we're feeling sad or frustrated or angry. And uh, that's not good to feel those things. And so, you know what, it's okay, it happens, but God can always help us through those times, can he? So why don't we just say a prayer for Parker this morning, okay? Can we do that? All right, let's pray. God, we just thank you so much for Parker, and uh, we just um, are sorry to hear of his rough morning that he had. And, and God, I pray that you would help Parker um, bless the rest of his day. And, uh, and I pray, God, and we thank you today how, you know, even though we uh, have situations where we get angry or frustrated and the day doesn't go well, and God, you come alongside of us and you change things and help us to, to be better and to overcome these things. And God, we just thank you um, for who you are and how you never change. And so we are blessed um, for that today, God. And help us as we dig into your word today, help us to learn something new and exciting, God, from your word. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, Parker. So kids, go get your Bibles. We are going to open up the Word of God today, and we're going to look at a new chapter, and it's called, it starts with an E. Do you remember a book in the Bible that starts with an E? Ephesians. Oh, that's a good one, but that's not it. Oh. <clears throat> it's in I, the... I feel better since you prayed. Oh, good. Isn't that cool how... You know what? We can be kind of feeling yucky and bleh, frustrated and mad. And, you know, you pray and God's like, hey, I'm going to help you. And that's what he does. Isn't that cool? God is our helper, isn't he? Give oh, us, wow. Give us a thumbs up. All right. So we're getting our Bibles and we're going to turn to the Old Testament. And it's an E word, uh, book in the Bible. Do you know what it might be? It comes after It's Genesis. not Ephesians because that's in the New Testament. Very good, Parker. You know your Bible. Woohoo! Okay, so the second book in the Old Testament, Genesis. Exodus. Yeah, that's it. That's oh, it. Wow. Oh, very good, very good. So we're going to turn to Exodus chapter 3 and we're going to read verse 3. Um, we're going to look Chapter 3, verse 1, and we're going to read to 4, the next chapter. Sorry, that's confusing. 
417. So Exodus 3, 1, 2, 4, verse 17. Is that confusing? Do you understand what I mean? We're going to start reading at chapter 3, verse 1, and we're going to read all the way to chapter 4, verse 17. There you go. But what I'm going to do today, as you guys are flipping there, um, I'm going to summarize the scripture and then you and your parents are going to read it afterwards. Okay. So you can mull it over, read it, think about it. Is that cool? Are Sounds you... like a good idea. Okay. So today we're talking about how God is I am. And so God appears to Moses in a bush that's on fire but not burning up what have you ever heard that story it's kind of a it's kind of a neat story so here god appears to moses in this burning bush do you did you ever hear that story parker i've heard it you've heard it what do you think about that i think i think it's wild a bush that doesn't burn up yeah absolutely and god but it was on fire and god appears to moses like what is going on wow so, so this god has something really special to, to tell to Moses. And you know what he said? This is what God wanted Moses to do. To lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Where they were slaves. Do you know what a slave is? Moses, or You're not Moses. You're Parker. I'm not Moses. I'm Parker. <laughs> tell me what a slave is. I think a slave is someone like... There, there's there's like a bully telling them what to do all the time. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. They're not free. They, they're, 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 a, they're a slave. People, are, they don't have any freedom. They don't have any freedom. That's a good explanation. I like that. It is. And so um, God tells Moses that um, to lead these people out of Egypt. And so Moses doesn't want to and has a lot of excuses. I can't do this. No, 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 no. You ever had an excuse? God said, Parker, I really need you to do this. I, I would love for you to, to go and witness to, to Freddie and tell Freddie about Jesus. And you're like, oh, but God, I'm just not sure. Like Freddie. I would be really nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever used excuses sometimes? Yeah, I make excuses. I think we all have. But in the end, we just need to do what God tells us to do. And he will equip us. Right? And so Moses has all these excuses. But God assures him. God says to Moses, I am who I am. God doesn't change. He's the same today as he was years ago. He doesn't change. Isn't that cool? So it's like, you know, today, Parker, when you were feeling frustrated and angry, the cat went to the neighbor's cat, went to the bathroom on your, on your comic book. It was not and, nice. No. And you know what? Like, even though we have all these sorts of feelings and we, we change, Aren't you glad that God never changes? He is the same all the time. He doesn't change. And I'm so thankful that we serve a God that is, 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 he's my rock. He never changes. Aren't you thankful for that today? I'm thankful for that. Absolutely. So our Bible point today is, I want you to remember that God doesn't change. He's always the same. And so our application today for you children is so we trust him when we're unsure. Have you ever been unsure about something in your life? Yeah, can you think of a time when you were unsure about something in your life and you really didn't know what to do? Your brain was telling you this thing, oh, I should do this, but over here, oh, no, I should do that. And I was torn. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? And then God, you pray about it, and then God just brings clarity, and he's like, oh, it makes sense. That's what you should do, because God knows best. Isn't that cool? Absolutely. That's a good word. Thank you, Parker. So, I have a question for you. For me or for the kids? Well, for all of you guys. Oh, wow. You guys at home and you here. What is our memory verse? Do I you, should know this by now. Okay, do you have? Do you remember any parts of it? Oh wow! I think you're gonna have to refresh my memory, Mrs. Crozier. Okay, let's do it together. Here we go. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? Sorry, I get this straight for you. The Lord is the everlasting God. The creator of the earth, he never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. Isaiah 40, verse 28. Hey kids, thanks for being part of Parkway Kids TV today. We're going to have some special guests coming up in the next few weeks, including Professor Boom, Walter the Narwhal, 
and Bugsy the guinea pig. We'll see you real soon. Make sure you check your bubble boxes today for some great activities to do. Have a great Sunday. <laughs>